moving on, the border board operator sector has had a lot of un unending discussions since the budget reading by the CS Treasury, Henry Rotich, that proposed the enhancement of the 2004 Mishuki rules on third party insurance for riders. Muhakin Jogu has been doing a follow up on that story on the implications of the policy and brings us the following report. The government in November last year appointed a task force that would lead discussions on border border reforms. Seven months later, after the budget reading, border border operators claim to have been excluded in decision making in the wake of the proposed comprehensive insurance coverage. The reason why to cohapa to Nata Kongela Manendo insurance. Ambayo CS Rotich Alikwa Amesema Lazima to Kwena comprehensive insurance. Lakini to Likwa to Japata Mwafaka. Is the barabara gani tutatumia kupata the best insurance covers zenye tutasaidika nazo. Kwa sababu most of the insurance companies zilikuwa za kudanganya watu wa piki piki. Ama sivo. Earlier on today, regional chairperson for motorists from the 47 counties converged in Nairobi to address the issue. Goes directly into your Whenever you want to do anything, please. Make sure that you get the public participation the way the insurance companies have done today, where you call all the leadership together, let's, let us put our heads together and discuss. Key to note is that the third party policy has always been lingering in the transport industry, having been brought forward 15 years ago as one of the many famous Michuki rules. We feel like there should be a consultation, and we need consultation from the minister who is concerned that. We are not going to accept that cover of 12,000. We are going to sit down and agree on the package that suit a local Mwananchi Pale ground because we represent the, the grievances of the local people. However, years after and the implementation of the policy has not actualized, and with border border riders pointing fingers to leaders and insurance firms, only seems to worsen the case. The day did not come to an end without a one-on-one -on -one confrontation between the Boda Boda Association leaders. We are not going to sit back and watch people who are coming to endorse themselves and they know very well people are suffering. The other day they signed an MOU with the Jubilee Insurance and they are promising them thousands and millions of jobs. And, and the Jubilee Insurance, uh, Kevin Mubadi signed an MOU with Jubilee Insurance the other day telling them they are going to get millions of uh, opportunities in the border sector. The other day they signed with the Pioneer Insurance. We are you safe and this we will not... not... The informal sector in Kenya contributes up to 84% of the total employment in the nation and border border operators make up for a huge chunk of these statistics.